All right. Thank you so much for allowing me to interview you. You had a you had a URL of procedure several weeks ago, and what is interesting about you is that you skipped medication, and you went straight for the cure. Can you tell us how that came about? Well, I've uh, come to the conclusion that uh, treating the symptoms it doesn't seem to work for me. Um, so. Treating the cause, which is the blockage, seemed like a more logical solution. Um, it was a little discomfort in the beginning, but uh, after uh, about a week, I started to be able to uh, urinate more controlled and more regular, um, and definitely a, a better flow. So I don't see a whole lot of other changes. Um, what about nighttime urination? You were getting up uh, how many times before the uh, you were the procedure? Okay, about, um, about three or four times a month. I'd have to get up in the middle of the night, and maybe sometimes two or three times. But for the most part, it was just more of an inconvenience. But now I've been able to go through the night. I think I've had a couple of occasions where I had to get up once. So of, that's improved too. Yeah, it, a lot of time it's just like. I got to get up at five o'clock in the morning, but my alarm doesn't go off till six. <laughs> <laughs> I hear ya. And you also mentioned there's been no change in your sexual function. Right, my sexual function has remained essentially the same. Very um, good. I haven't seen any differences there. And uh, what about uh, urgency of urination? That one is still an issue at times. Uh, I feel the urge to urinate and running to the bathroom. Uh, it's just a case, I think, of learning to uh, control my bladder when I feel that so that I have, I think when I rush to the bathroom, I don't control myself well. And that happens to to uh, guys without enlarged prostate. You don't want to rush uh, your urination. You want to take your time when you do go urinate. Right. Yeah. And having urinary urgency and sometimes having difficulties controlling the urge to urinate after any procedure is very, very common. Okay. And it'll take time to, to go away. Yeah. Well, it's been a while since I uh, tried to get to the bathroom in time and didn't quite make it, so I got a little wet. But, getting better, uh, though? Yeah. Okay. It's getting better. I haven't had that for about a week or two now. Wonderful. Well, yeah. would you recommend this uh, procedure to guys who may need it? Um, I recommend it because I don't think it's that, you know, Discomfort, you know, that uncomfortable. The, the aftermath for a day or so is a little bit, uh, you know, seems a little more dramatic than it really is. Cause Your is recovery so much, was only a day or two? Well, it was about a day or so of bleeding. I took the yellow uh, pills for a while, and I was going to the bathroom every couple of hours for uh, a few okay. days. So, But after about uh, four days, we went to San Diego, and I was able to make it there with, you know, a few stops, so felt Good. like a girl. <laughs> Good. So three days, essentially. Uh, three, about four days before I could, uh, you know, feel comfortable uh, getting to the bathroom without having to. Uh, you're you're telling me that you had a procedure that no. took only four days to recover that yeah. cured your urinary difficulties. Pretty much, that's the way it is. All right. May I share this video with those who may be interested? Sure. Thank you so much. I love your shirt. Thanks.